Good morning, friends. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. Um, I hope that you're doing well. I hope that this weekend wasn't too difficult on you. I know that um, I tried to get outside, put on my rain jacket and my raincoat, uh, put on my raincoat <laughs> and my rain boots to go outside for at least um, a nice quick walk to get some fresh air. I think it's really important to get some fresh air uh, and make sure that when you're out there, you're um, keeping your distance from people that you don't know and that aren't in your immediate family and live with you, okay? Um, so today we're gonna read a passage about Keisha. Uh, Keisha loves the rain, um, so she has a special memory about the rain. And so when we're reading, I want you to think about some, uh, some questions. So we're gonna read the questions as a, a way to help us with our, our reading, to guide our thinking while we're reading. So who let Keisha play in the rain? Where did Keisha play? Why did Keisha put on boots? All right, and then this one, last one is the text to self-connection. What are your favorite things to do in the rain? So maybe um, Keisha has similar ideas to, um, to what you like to do in the rain, all right? <clears throat> so here we go. Rain, Keisha really loves the rain. It reminds her of, a, of her grandma. Keisha's grandma always let her play outside in the rain. She would put on her raincoat and boots to splash in the puddles. Keisha always thinks of her grandmother, grandma when it rains, All right? So, who let Keisha play in the rain? Where did Keisha play in the rain? And why did Keisha put on boots? All right, that's my thinking. I'm gonna read it one more time. Rain, Keisha really loves the rain. It reminds her of her grandma. Keisha's grandma always let her play outside in the rain. She would put on her raincoat and boots to splash in the puddles. Keisha always thinks of her grandma when it rains. All right, so here we go. I forgot to give you the directions here. This one's a simple one, fill in the blanks. So fill in the blanks, sorry about that. Okay, so blanks are those lines. Easy Louise. So we're going to use this to help us. All right. I'll format that later. Sorry about that. Okay. Fill in the blanks using these words. Okay. So I'm going to read the sentence to you, and then I'm going to read the choices, and then you have to fill them in. The rain, the rain number one, the rain reminds Keisha of her thinks, boots, grandma. The rain reminds Keisha of her thinks, boots, or grandma. So think about that one. Keisha, number two, Keisha would put on her raincoat and thinks, boots, grandma. Keisha would put on her raincoat and thinks, boots, or grandma. So what, else, what would you put on? Okay, Keisha thinks, boots, grandma, of her grandma whenever it rains. All right, so picking one of those to help you fill in the blank. This helps with our language development. This is our writing component. Who let Keisha play in the rain? So who, where did Keisha play? Hmm, okay. Why did Keisha put on, uh, why did Keisha put on boots? So think about that one, all right? And what are your favorite things to do in the rain? So think about some things you could do in the rain. So like I said yesterday, uh, I went for a nice walk in the rain. Um, it was really quiet outside because there wasn't too many people outside. So it was nice to go for a nice quiet walk. Um, I looked at the puddles. So what are some things you could do in the rain? Um, I know the other day on, I think it was Saturday, uh, my son and I went outside and we kicked a soccer ball around. So that's something fun that we did in the rain that normally we don't ever really do. All right, so make sure that you're safe. I hope that you're enjoying yourself, your time at home, and you're doing the best you can, and you're behaving, and you're being really good helpers at home. All right, bye-bye.